Hello, my name is Leanne Kruger. This is part three of Treasures and the Truth. A little bit about me and the organizations that I volunteer with. We all have treasures, whether they're items or memories that we want to share with our family. We want to include our voices. We want it in a genre that the future generations will enjoy and appreciate. In part one, we learned how to document items in PowerPoint, save them as a PowerPoint show that can be viewed by anybody, whether they have PowerPoint or not. And more importantly, we saved it as an MP4 so that we can upload it to a YouTube channel. In part two, we created that YouTube channel and learned how to upload those videos from our computer. We also discussed the background, uh, the setup that was needed before we start making our movies and talking about our different memories and treasures. We talked about the length that the video should be, ideas, and having fun while we do this. In part three, then, we're going to talk about uploading our videos from our phone, record new videos, create a playlist and why we would use that and share these playlists and videos with our family. First, we're going to talk about uploading videos from our phone. To do so, you need to download the YouTube app and start it. The first time you start it, it will ask you to sign in with your Google account. This is the same Google account you use to create your YouTube channel so that they are synced together. It will then ask us to access the photos, our camera, and our microphone on our phone. The home screen looks similar to this. This is the one home screen in the bottom is a menu and the very first item is home. In the bottom right hand corner is library on that same menu. This is the library screen and it allows you to click on your videos. When you click on your videos, if you don't have any a YouTube channel, this is the cute little picture you'll see. We're going to upload a video now. So we're now in the bottom right corner, in the bottom mid middle of the menu is now a plus sign. Now this is new. If you look at the previous screen, there was no plus sign. This is brand new as of December 30th. It changed and things are constantly changing with apps and the computers. So hopefully throughout what you learn will help you adapt and try to figure out where things are when they change because they do. It's just part of the computer world. So we want to add a video. So we're going to click on this plus sign. The menu at the bottom changes now and it asks us if we want to uh, upload a video or do we want to go live. Uh, I don't think we're ready to go live. We just want to upload a video. It gives us a list of all of our videos and you can scroll down until you find it if you need to if it's not there at the top. As soon as you find the video click on it and it immediately starts playing and gives you this screen. Now this is called the trim screen that's the title at the top. The back arrow at the top is indicating if this is the wrong video and you want to go back and start over, then click on that left arrow and then you can go choose another one, which is really nice. This is called the trim screen. If I need to pause it, if it's going too fast and I, I want to start over, then I can click on the video once and the two pause lines appear, the vertical bars, and then I can click on it again to pause it. The first click is to get those pause buttons to appear. The second one is to actually pause it. So we can click on it. Along the bottom you'll see the whole video. There are uh, blue bars on the left and right and a red vertical bar 
along the video. That's indicating what it's playing at this point, where it is in the video. If I want to get to a specific part in the video faster, then I can drag that red bar to that area. Now I want to trim this. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But if you do want to trim part of it, then you can use the blue bars to trim the video. If you want to trim part of the beginning, then you click on the left blue bar and drag it to the point that you want it to start. And what's to the left of that blue bar will be trimmed. It will be eliminated. If you don't like the ending as much, then click on the right blue bar, drag it to the point where you don't want it, and anything after that blue bar will be trimmed and gone. Once you have the video the way you want, then click on Next in the top right hand corner. It will ask you to read the description, the legal stuff, add the title and the description of this new video, the trimmed version, or just the video. This will be put on the YouTube channel. Decide who gets to watch this video. Is it for everybody who Googles, or is it just for those who have the link? Private means that it will be only you that can watch it at this point. You can add a location. If it's a family reunion, a location would be a really good idea to put on. Or a family home, the address that this occurred in. But it is not necessary. When you're done, click on Upload. It's up in the top right hand corner. Alright, so now your video has been added to your YouTube channel. If you trimmed it, the trimmed version is on the YouTube channel. What was on the camera remains the same. It is not trimmed. We want to create videos because it's something fun and live and people get to hear your voices and your expressions. Um, have fun with this. You don't have to be in the video. A lot of people don't want to be in the video, but they want to tell the story this can do it because you can take a video of the item. If it's a rocking chair, you can be in the rocking chair or not. To record through the YouTube app, we can do that and upload at the same time. So you're going to set up the scenery as explained in part two. You're going to open up the app, click on home or library, and that's an old screenshot from a couple days ago, so it doesn't have the plus sign at the bottom, which is there now. So you're going to click on the plus sign and then upload a video. And then this time, so those are all the same steps as previously, but this time we're going to click the record button at the top. Point the camera that you want to take a video of and turn your phone landscape. That means this way. Not, we don't want portrait, we don't want up and down, we want it to be landscape. So here, this is portrait, we want it to be the landscape version. Now a red button appears and it shows you what you're going to take a movie of. Click on the red button. I know that's just strange because usually it's green for go or something, but no, this one is red. Tell the story about this item as if you're talking to somebody. Sometimes it's good to have somebody in the room. Sometimes it just makes us more nervous. Whichever is best, but make it sound like you're describing it, that you're talking to somebody rather than reading a script. A little more exciting. When you're done, click on the red square. The circle has become a square. Click on it and that stops the video. Now it's finished. Your new video will appear. If you don't like it, delete it. Do it again. Now one important note with this is that if you shake while you're taking the video, which I tend to and I'm exaggerating a little bit, YouTube does not have the stabilizers in its program as the camera itself does. So it might be better for you to take a movie with the camera app and then just upload it that way as shown earlier. So what are we going to talk about? We talked about this in part two. Long story? No. 
we don't want it all. I think that's why people don't take videos and don't do this is because they're thinking that they have to do the whole story at one time and when they're sitting there and recording their whole life history. No, we want to put this in little parts, four to six minutes each, three to five. And I, we explained that and talked about that in part two. And talked about how people like serial stories a little bit at a time. And cliffhangers, if you're going to tell a story and it needs more than two videos specifically for one story, then make it a cliffhanger. Stop the first video right when something's going to happen so that people asks, ask themselves what's going to happen next. They'll love it. So a playlist is YouTube's way of us being able to connect a whole bunch of videos. So if I want to tell the life story of my grandmother, I would do multiple videos. I would want them in a specific order in a way that was probably chronological that people could find the next video, especially if there's a cliffhanger. They want to be able to find it nice and easy. So we're going to make playlists. So you could divide it by subjects. Uh, you could have a playlist for all the family reunions. Um, as I said, you could have one for grandma and her life. You have a limit of 100 videos. Hey, if she's got more than 100 videos, then she'd feel really cool to have, you know, two playlists just for her. YouTube has no limit to the number of playlists you can create in a channel. In fact, they encourage it. It's a great way to organize your videos. I would love to hear what kind of playlist you create. So you would open up your computer and we're back on the computer. The phone can do this as well. I'm going to show you how to do it on the computer. You're going to click on the top, your icon, and then you're going to go to the YouTube Studio from that menu on the right. As soon as you click on it, you get a menu on the left and you want to click on Playlists from that menu. If you don't have any, this is what you will see. We want to create a new playlist. So in the top right, we click on New Playlist and it gives us a little window asking us for some information about what do we want to call it. It will also ask us for privacy, who is going to be able to see it, the world or just those who you give the link to. Private means nobody until you're ready. And you can always change this later. Then we click on Create. Now we've created the playlist. Now we need to add videos to it. So we go to our channel. Uh, we click on Playlist. And, and that's, sorry, that's where it is. So you, you can see the playlist after you created them. If we want to add a video to that playlist, we're going to go to our channel. We're going to click on videos and it lists them one by one. Click on the three dots and say save to playlist. Here's the list of playlists I have. Now you might have noticed I'm going between two channels, my own personal one and Mito YDNA's uh, YouTube channel because they have more playlists than I do at this point. I need to do some work. And also some things that I have but I don't want to share with others. Uh, so if you have one, the list of playlists will appear here. You can click in the box. The cool thing is you can click on more than one playlist that is available. If you do not have a playlist, then you can create one right here at this point. So here, the first time it appears, this is what happens if you don't have any playlists at this point. You do have one when you create a YouTube channel. YouTube automatically gives you a watch later list because you can click on videos and say, I want to watch these later. We want to add a playlist while you're watching. Say you're watching a video, then you like it, 
it's you've created it you're making sure it looks good now you want to add it to the playlist instead of going through all those previous steps in the bottom right right below the video itself are this men is this menu and one of the items is the three lines with the plus sign so that allows you to add it to the playlist and it comes up here now some notes about playlists when it comes up with this box again you can create a, a multiple playlists you can add a video to multiple playlists at this point just by clicking inside the boxes or clicking the plus sign more than once here's a playlist when you have the playlist you can still edit the title the description uh, or the privacy you can view one video or you can click on play all and they will all play one after another so with the order you can sort it by these five items uh, how you have them listed the date added means the date it was added to YouTube the date published means when it was actually saved on the computer not when it was uploaded or in this case most popular <laughs> what people like watching the most uh, if your playlist you, you know grandma remembers a story a story of when she was a kid but you're already her as a grandma on your list of videos no problem just click on the equal signs and drag the videos in the order you want them and then it can be in chronological order again privacy people worry about privacy and the order now in this case the order is I can say the order I created because I've moved them around so it's the manual one now that I've moved them around I want to share lastly we need to share these videos with others so I'm going to click on my Google icon and select um, your channel option from that menu on the right on the left the menu on the left I'm going to click on your videos they are low listed nice and neat here I'm going to click on the three dots beside the video and a menu appears second item is get shareable link also notice the icon that's used message appears at the bottom of your screen saying link copy to your clipboard so now it's in your clipboard now you can go to Facebook email anywhere you want to put that link so other family members can watch your playlist or the video now in the bottom <clears throat> when you click on this it goes to the clipboard if you cut or copy anything else before pasting it you've lost it you'll have to come back and do it again which is fine but just for your information as soon as you copy it go put it some click find where you want it to go and paste it into that location you can share your video while you're watching there's the icon for adding to a playlist right to the left of it is the share button to share a playlist not just a video but the whole playlist we're going to click on our google icon in the top right again of our youtube channel click on your channel and then click on your videos click on playlists and click on the playlist that you want to share and now there's an arrow to the right pushing to the right that is the share the playlist icon now it comes up with some social media items here you can pick one of those if you don't see where you want it there is the uh, greater than sign on the right that allows you to go and find other um, social media or other uh, apps that you might want to put it into or you can in the bottom right there just click on copy and it copies the link to your playlist and then you can paste it just like we did 
the uh, link to one video, you can go paste it yourself in your blog or email that you want. I hope you make some videos. Start small, but just create them. Email me, go to my um, blog here. Tell me what you've done. How, if you have any questions, if it's not working, please email me, I'll make a blog post. Also on there is a link to my Facebook, which would also be a good place to add comments and, and tell me what you've done with your videos and your what kind of playlists that you have created that other people might appreciate knowing about. I hope you have a wonderful time at Roots Tech and enjoy uh, watching this over the year. Take care.